Today's meditation, we're going to focus on a part of our body that we all experience now more than ever, and that's our wrists and forearms. We're on the computer, we're on our phones all day, and there's a lot of tension in our wrists, in our hands, in our fingers, and those meridians go into our neck, through our up and down, lower back, down our legs, into our feet. We forget that the body is all connected. And so by focusing today on just releasing some of that tension in our hands and becoming mindful of how we're using our hands and what our hands are for, maybe we can bring some attention to finding a new way to a new relationship to our machines, to our phones, to our computers. So let's gather ourselves right now, take our few breaths and remember as always that our breath comes through us, not from us. So we're going to take a few deep breaths. We're going to center ourselves and be in this present moment. And while you're breathing, notice any place in your body that's holding tension. Maybe it's in the top of your head. Maybe it's in your cheeks. Maybe it's in your eyes, your eyebrows your jaw, your teeth, your chin, your neck. Find those places where it's tight, your shoulders. Relax, elbows, wrists, hands. Go down into your lungs, into your heart cavity. Find the tension. Now we're into that tricky spot, the lower back. Breathe into it. Go down into your hips, into your belly, top of your legs, knees, calves, ankles, feet and toes. Find those places where it's tight, breathe into it, let it go. Taking a deep breath. and release in your own time. Just find your breath, relax, sit into your breath, and just experience it. And when you're breathing, find that ujjayi, find that breath that sounds like the inside of a seashell or the ocean. It's a slight sound, it comes in our nose, comes the back of our mouth. Give your breath a little sound. Maybe you're outside, feel the wind, connect your breath to the wind, to the air around you, to the movement of the air. And breathe. Continue breathing, and now notice the air as it comes in your nostrils. There should be a slight sensation at the tips of your nostrils as the air comes in, and as you let go. Maybe it's warm, maybe it's cool, just notice it.
three more deep breaths. And now come back to center, give a little movement, stretch it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mm. Now let's connect to our hands and wrists, forearms, elbows, shoulders. Shake it out and just start noticing what's going on there. Maybe there's some restriction. Now, if you're seated and you're not comfortable about getting on your knees, you can do this sitting down or you can even do it at a table. Ground your hands on the floor, a mat, table, whatever's in front of you, and just start noticing some pressure coming down from your shoulders into your hands and into your fingers, through your wrists. Give it some movement. Feel that pressure, push into it, and begin to notice each finger. This is something you can stop and do while you're working on the computer. Take a few moments to be mindful. Give your hands a little break. And now that you've got your hands in a rested position, Begin to put some pressure on your hand from the other one. Just get some movement, some blood flowing in there, some energy. Let your hand relax, let your fingers relax. Breathe into it. And the other one. Now, begin to create your own practice of movement, but make it slow and mindful. Push your fingers out, stretch from the wrist, don't hurt yourself, feel a nice comfortable tension, something you can work with. And when you're moving like this, choose another spot in your body to focus on. Right now we're working on hands and, and wrists. Maybe you want to think of your shoulders. What's going on in your shoulders, back of your neck, your chin, your knees, wherever you move that, that attention from your mind. And then go back to where you're focusing on your wrists, your fingers. Now, take one hand. Give it a gentle pull. Pull your fingers back. Slowly. Breathe into it. Ah, that feels good. Other hand. Now, cup your fingers, give it a good squeeze, push it out, and roll your wrists. Roll your wrists while you're squeezing. Squeeze your fingers together, roll your wrists, go the other way, get those knots out, and 
again. Pull your wrists, keep squeezing. Now let go. Push it out. Give it some movement. Now, hands folded, praying hands, push the bottom of your hand above your wrist together. Push that together. Try not to push your fingers together, but this part of your hand, push that together. Let your fingers just sit on top of that. Feel it in your arms, forearms, shoulders. Push, push, give it some movement, push. Now, put the tension in your fingers. Push your fingers, push your fingers, push your fingers. And bottom of your hands, push together, give it some tension and relax. Very good, very good. Now, for those of you who can Go into a uh, stance, table, do that. Don't hurt yourself. If you feel a moment of anything uncomfortable, especially in the knees, stop. Now, you wanna make your body weight over your wrist so that your wrist is squared and from here, we don't want to push, we want to feel the energy, the gravity, pulling us down to the ground and pulling us up to the sky at the same time. So you want to notice two things going on at the same time. You want to feel the gravity pulling your hands down and you want to feel the sky pulling your arms up. And the place that that is noticed is in the breath. So feel that energy going up and down, going through you, and give it a slight movement, slight circles. Tension shouldn't be on your hands or your wrists, it should be on the energy pulling down and pulling up. Give it a slight circle with your body, gentle, and the other way. Now we're going to do this for a minute. Give it some energy. Find your own practice. Find your own system. Whatever feels good. And as always, if you find something you want to do in the middle of my practice, go ahead and do it. Maybe you want to bend your elbows. Maybe you want to lean forward. And deep breathing. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Notice all that tension being released. Ah, that feels good. Your hands thank you, your wrists thank you, your arms thank you. Now if you wanna bend, sit back, reach forward into child's pose, let your hands relax and down. Stretch out from underneath your arms, long arms. And here you want to let your hands relax. You're just less, you're resting your hands. You're resting your hands and letting the rest of your body fall into the earth. Deep breath. Deep breath in, and back to tabletop. Ah, now you're back to your hands. You're going to feel a different sensation because we've been here. We're gonna go back to the beginning. Hands in prayer. Push the bottom of your hands together. You'll feel it. You're coming back to meet an old friend. 
You've been here before. Now your fingers and your and your wrists. Move it out. Very good. Push it out and up. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. And then move your wrists out and back to prayer position. Very good. Now, we're going to make friends with ten fingers. Each one is an individual, but they work together. Ten fingers working together. Each one has a pair. So we'll begin with our thumbs, our first finger, our middle finger, our ring finger, and our pinky. So we're going to do ten sets of this. One, two, three, four, and five. Very simple, but very difficult because we want to keep our mind centered on this simple practice of touching each finger together and we'll do 10 sets. Here we go. Take a deep breath and one, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, eight, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five, ten, two, three, four, and five. Hands together. Now in your mind, go over that exercise without moving your hands. One, two, three, four, five, two, two, three, four, five, three, two, three, four, five, four, two, three, four, five, five, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three, four, five, eight, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five, ten, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now, in the middle of this exercise practice, we're going to stop and we're just going to breathe. We're going to do ten deep breaths and with, with each breath, at the top of the breath, we're going to do what's called a pop. So when you think you've come to the top of your breath, take in a little bit more breath. It sounds something like this. So it's a little pop at the top of the breath. We'll do 10 of those. Get centered, come back to yourself, find your peace, quick body scan, find where there's tension, Very 
good. And let's begin. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Deep breath. Pop. Let it go. Now, we're gonna go back to our hands, wrists, elbows. We're gonna find the tension and we're gonna let it go. Rub it out. Remember, this is your body. Take care of it. Find what feels good for you. Okay. Place your hands back on the table or the mat, carpet, rug, wherever you are, and slowly move. These are micro movements. You can't go very far like this, but you, what you want to feel is lots of energy going in through your arm, all the way from your core, down your arm, and out your hands. From here, out and down. Here we go. Just feel some micro movements. Gentle movements, it almost feels like nothing. But we've overworked our hands and I think our hands need a little break from all the abuse we give them, banging on our computers and texting on our phones. This time is about your hands. Feel how grateful you are for what you have, how you use them. And just let some energy go into your hands, through your wrists, into your palms. Now, as your hands are on the surface, you want to move the energy. You want to notice where the energy goes. At some point, you might feel it in your fingertips. You might feel it in the center of your hand, palm of your hand, wrist. Just notice where the energy is. Bring back to center. Now we're going to take each hand, <clears throat> individually place it in front of us, and very gently so you don't hurt yourself because there's little tiny tendons in your hands, very delicate. We're just going to lift each finger very slowly three times. So we're going to take our start with our thumb on our left hand, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three.
two, three, one, one, two, three. Back together, right hand. Place it in front of you, start with your thumb. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Back together. Shake it out. <clears throat> Give it a good hard shake. Oh, that feels good. Oh, shake it out. Mmm. 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 The best, choir, best part of choir practice with the nuns is when I say, shake it out. After we've worked hard on some piece or some exercise, I say, let's shake it out. <laughs> so let's shake it out. And here we go. Back on the table, two hands now. Let's do one at a time. Hand, left hand in the center. Start with your thumb. And without pulling it up, lift it by yourself individually. Starting with the thumb three times. Ready? One, two, three. 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 Back together, right hand down and thumb. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Back together. Now this is where you can make it your own practice. And as a pianist, there's endless combinations of doing this. They're called songs. <laughs> What you want to do is put your fingers down in front of you and make up a pattern where you're lifting your hands, your fingers, exactly the way we did individually, but do it in patterns. So it could be thumb, thumb, it could be thumb, thumb, finger, finger, three, three. So. Start basic and begin to notice patterns in your fingers. You can count, you can say one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, one, three, five, three, one, two, four. Instead of just putting your hands on the table and moving them, Connect your mind to your fingers so that there becomes a pattern that you can recognize either as numbers or pictures or letters or colors or shapes or whatever your connection to that is. But begin to, to notice that there's a mind-body connection to your intention of what you're trying to do with your fingers. So I'll just give you a few moments. I'll do it myself and we'll come back together when we're finished. Take a deep breath, center yourself, feel the energy going into your palms, ground your hands on the mat, and go. That'll be a good exercise for another time because you connect the shape, the numbers with rhythm, patterns, 
all comes from the piano, but anybody can do it. And it's also a good way when you're sitting at a desk or sitting in line or bored at a airport or wherever, good little finger exercises. But what else you're doing is reconnecting with your body and these beautiful, wonderful, mysterious hands that we have. Let's finish our meditation today. Go back to our center. And in these times that we're all experiencing, let us be mindful that every day, every day is an opportunity for us to be grateful, to give back, to find ourselves who we are, and to rejoice in the gift that we've been given and the gift that we have, the gift that we are to others. Each opportunity. So we're going to take some deep breaths. We're going to go into ourselves, go into our heart. And let's begin. Take a deep breath as we come back to ourselves. Slowly open our eyes. And remember to do something true, do something good, do something beautiful, because we are made by love, to love, and to be loved.